What up, everybody? BMF Season 3, Episode 4, titled The Prodigal Son Returns Home, starts out with Meech smoking a blunt with his Colombian plug, Loco, talking about the incoming shipment, as Meech was telling Loco that T would handle it. But just like before, Loco didn't trust T and wanted Dimitri to handle it for him. He was also unsure if the pilot was an undercover or not. So Meech got on the phone and confirmed that it wasn't by asking him if he needed his money up front. So Meech had to return back home to Detroit to handle the shipment of what he thought was 250 keys. And before he went back to Detroit, Meech smashed Angel, who is now staying with Meech after the end of last episode when Meech and Duffy beat down Greeny for setting him up. Meanwhile, back in the D, Terry is still juggling between two women, his baby mother Lawanda and Markeisha. And in this episode, his primary focus was centered around handling the CPS case against him trying to take away his kids. On the business end, T's crew was pressing him about when the next shipment was coming in, saying that their clients were getting antsy. When Meech walked into the diner and everyone was so happy to see him, except for Terry, keep it in mind that the title was called The Prodigal Son. At the same time, though, either though Terry didn't celebrate Meech being home like everyone else did, the intro did say that Terry always felt better when his brother was by his side. So Terry was happy to see Meech just in his own type of way. When Meech showed up at the diner, he took TC in the game of spades. This was also symbolic to how Meech takes over as the king of Detroit when he comes home. Keeping in mind, when he walked in, Hoop yelled, The king is home. When Meech and T began to talk about how Meech was there to pick up the shipment, Terry tried telling Meech about the risk. But nothing was going to stop Meech from making this pickup. OG Terry, the narrator, went on to say that he couldn't tell if Meech was just careless as or a mastermind in the making. While Meech is back in Detroit checking on Zoe and his daughter TT, Bryant would check on his former partner, Detective Jen, whose life he saved last episode. And she threatened to report him when she found out what he was up to. And he replied that everything he's doing, he's doing for his son. As Bryant was doing everything to save his son, so was T. As him and Markeisha went to a gambling spot where a judge was at who Markeisha knew through Boom. And she was trying to get Judge Darnell to help Terry with his CPS case. But then walked up Henry telling the judge that he shouldn't help Terry. So at this point, I'm guessing T finally realized who called the CPS in the first place. Because even Meech was trying to say it was Markeisha when he first got into town. But they were all wrong. It was Henry behind the CPS case. Something they all should have been able to figure out from the very beginning. So at this point, Judge Darnell left, not wanting to get in the middle of T and Henry. Keeping in mind that Henry's father, Blaze, is connected with the police, judges, the city council, and more things like that as well. So when Henry found out that Meech was back in town, her and Bryant made a plan for Bryant to do surveillance. And when Meech got to his stash house, her plan was to have her men ambush the wait and kill everybody there. Also notice when Bryant walked in, Henry was throwing darts at a picture of Terry. She told Bryant that after she wiped BMF off the map, her father would have no other choice but to respect her then. But after Bryant had Henry's father's back saying that parents just want what's best for their children, she threatened Bryant, telling him if the plan to ambush Meech didn't go right, she would pull Kevin's protection. Keep it in mind that Henry is connected so most likely the protection she was talking about is coming from the guards. But the bad news for Henry is Detective Amberson got a report of a torched ambulance and received a partial VIN number. And it connected to a guy named Lenny Anderson, who they later raided his apartment and currently have in custody. So if he talks, he could connect everything back to Henry or possibly Brian if she used him to purchase the ambulance. Getting me to Meech picking up the weight. When he got to the airport, he found out instead of the 250 keys he was suspecting, the order got mixed up in translation and they sent him 2,500 keys instead. The pilot also told Meech that he was wheels up in 24 hours, meaning BMF had less than 24 hours to move that weight and get Loco's cash to the pilot to fly back to him. Leaving Meech with a problem from the start that the weight wasn't going to fit in his car. 
Because of this, he had to pay some guys a bankroll to use their service van. While he's doing all this, Brian was watching his every move. But luckily for Meech, when they were on the way to drop off the weight, the pilot who Meech had to give a ride to had to use the restroom. And instead of using discretion, Bryant boldly pulled up right next to Meech and even waved at him. So Meech then used his pilot to his advantage, who told the two cops who were at the diner that Bryant had been following them ever since he left the airport and that he was afraid that Bryant was going to try to rob him. This caused the cops to search Bryant's car, finding an unregistered gun and arresting Bryant as Meech got away clean. So Meech was able to flood the streets with all the extra weight by selling it at wholesale price. T went on to say at the end of the episode that they would have made more of 500 keys selling it like normal than they made off the 2500. But for Meech it was less about the money and more about the big picture and the fact that they were actually able to move that much weight and impress their plug loco in the process. But Henry was furious that her plan didn't work out and that Bryant wasn't even answering her calls. So she said she warned his not to with her. So this means Henry intends on pulling Kevin's protection or possibly even something worse. Henry also took another L this episode in her effort to put the CPS on T and try to get them to take his children away from him. Because Markeisha met back up with Judge Darnell, this time blackmailing him to get him to help out with Terry's situation. As a result of this, Terry was able to take Meech up on his invitation to take a trip down to Atlanta. Getting me to the family dinner. Nikki cooked dinner for the whole family for what everyone thought was to celebrate Meech being home. But it seems like it's becoming a tradition for the family dinners to go wrong one way or another. Keep it in mind in season two at the last family dinner, Lucille snapped on Charles. This time it was Nikki's turn to snap on the whole family. She called her parents out saying that she's their newfound obsession. She called her brothers out for being drug dealers and getting her last boyfriend killed. And before she got sent to her room, she let Charles know that Lucille had been googly eyed about a doctor. And of course, Charles knew exactly who Nikki was talking about. Keep it in mind that Charles has been working hard to impress Lucille, doing dumbbell curls in front of her, cooking her dinner, and even fixing the drywall. But this caused Lucille to leave the house to go run into Maurice and tell him the truth that her and Charles are separated. And Lucille and Maurice got real close to hooking up before she stopped him and went home. Then when she got home, Charles was waiting on her so he could come out the bathroom with a bath towel on and with wax all over his chest trying to impress Lucille. So Lucille's at a crossroad of either returning to Charles or pursuing a relationship with Maurice. Also after Lucille got home, Meech, Terry, and Nikki were all playing video games when Roland walked in and let Meech and Terry know that he was going to get out the game now that he has a kid. But he'll always look out for their family because he just lives right across the street. And the episode concluded with setting the stage for the next episode as Meech and T are preparing to head to Atlanta. Meech got a call from Stax after hearing about all the weight that Meech just moved. Pretending like he apologized and that he wanted to start doing business with Meech again. But the truth is... He made an arrangement with Glock, the leader of the Miami Killers, to betray both Meech and Terry to set them up to die. In return, Glock says he'll kill Remy Ransom. But most likely, he's just playing Stax also because he was talking to his boy in Creo and called Stax a fool. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.